What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen in today's video we're going to be showcasing a brand new season that just has been released and playing some ranked battles in this brand new season. So if you guys are hyped make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out across the channel but season two is finally here for Pokemon Unite and it is very underwhelming. Not, when I mean very underwhelming, I mean very underwhelming. They really did not add anything besides a new battle pass. That is pretty much it. And they changed the rank season, which dropped your rank. So you got to go back up to your rank that you were normally at. But I will definitely showcase what they did have to offer. And that is going to be the battle pass. It's legit. It. No buffs, no nerfs, no nothing. That is definitely something they should have added in the new season. But they did add some really cool skins. And we'll get started off with the first one in the battle pass. Typically, I don't really buy the battle pass. I might buy it. We'll see. But this one's pretty dope. We got this Charizard with like a little vest over here. Kind of dig that. I kind of dig that. But the final one is really, really cool. You get some few clothes. You get a bunch of like items, some AOS tickets, some item enhancers, some clothes for your avatar, all that good stuff. But then the final skin is this sunshine style Venusaur. That's pretty tough. That is actually pretty tough. I do really, really like that. So maybe I'll buy the battle pass. We'll see. But we have 40 days remaining, so I can make my decision later. But another thing that they did add is they changed in the, uh, what was it, Circo Trading Shop? Is that what's called? Let me see. Let me see names. Let me see names. Yeah, Circo Trading. And then in the Hollowware Ticket Exchange, you can get some cool new skins. I'll give them this. They did do good on this because look at this. You can get this sick crustal. I have 120 tickets, so I could buy it. You can get this sick crustal right here. You get this Garchomp they added. They did add this Absol, so I feel bad for anybody who actually paid money. I should get that. They added uh, this Guard War is pretty cool. They added Beach uh, Greninja, which I bought right away because you guys know Greninja my main. Greninja my main, and then they added some other ones. But um, let me actually see if they change energy rewards. That is something I do want to see. That is something I do want to see. I did not get to check that out or anything. And no, they, they did, but they took out skins. They did take out skins, which is whack. Which is whack, because I really want that Garchomp skin with, like, the best and everything. Oh, no, Crustle's in here now. Hold up. Crustle's in there now. Hold up. Let's keep looking at it. We got Crustle. We got Snorlax. Usually, it's, the skins are at the top. But did they take out that Garchomp one? I'm very, very curious. Actually, I can just view rewards here. Hollow Bear. Yes, they did. They did. So, the Crustle one, you can get inside here. I might buy it, but I kind of just want to use my energy board and try to go for it. Because, you know, why spend my Hollow Bear tickets if I can actually get it? But like I said, it's really, really underwhelming. They did not change up anything really in the season. No buffs. Not even new events for a new season. Which is really, really whack. I don't like that one bit. And like I said, the, the one thing they did change was the Battle Pass. And the season did reset. So, as you guys know, your boy was in Master Tier. And now in the new season, they dropped me down to Veteran Class 3. We got to work our way up there again. Let's hop into our first battle and look to grab ourselves a win in this tier. Hopping into our first battle for the brand new rank season for Pokemon Unite. And I'm going to be locking in my main Greninja right here, but not just any main. Beach style Greninja here. First time using this skin, ended up buying it in that Hollowware shop. It's looking awesome on him, but I feel like he needs a better skin. Because, look, he has, like, this hero skin, which is pretty cool. But I feel like he needs an absolute banger of a skin. Like, Blasto, he's got a really cool one with his firefighter outfit. Wigglytuff got the, uh... The, the slumber, the PJs one, whatever you want to call it. That one looks sick. And Absol has a cool one with the top hat. Same thing with like Ninetales. I just think Greninja needs like an absolute banger of a skin. I think they should release one. But that leads me to question of the day. And that is if you guys can add any skin on any Pokemon, what Pokemon would it be and what skin would it be? I feel like you guys have some awesome ideas. So let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. But yeah, we're not in Master Tier anymore. Considering the new season change, we are in better tier as you guys saw in the beginning. But we're looking to grab a win. I feel like getting to Master Tier shouldn't be that hard. Again, you kind of just need to play a lot and just, just do decent. Just do decent. And I feel like ever since I uh, started playing like in the jungle and everything, I feel like just getting wins solo human is a lot easier. But they didn't really add anything for Season 2. Just very disappointed, man. Very disappointing. Definitely should have added another Pokemon. Definitely should have did like a balanced patch and all that good stuff. Definitely should have just made this season feel fresh. But I feel like they're definitely coming out with new Pokemon soon and a new balanced patch soon. So cannot wait for that. But let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. First battle here, I'm rocking right in that jungle. We do have a Berry Snorlax on our team, which is which is just lovely. We love ourselves a good old Berry Snorlax. Hop in here, get up on you, and then send my little bubble. Get a little speed decrease on this lovely little little pup. Come here, little pup. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Get out my game. Get out my game. Ludicolo should spawn right here. Hit him up a little bit. Just dodge his little thing, and then just start pouncing on this thing. Just pouncing on this guy. Keep rolling. I am going to dip back this way. We should be able to kill him with this right there. There it is here and then just bubble onto this bufalant this lovely little bufalant and what i like to do is, if you guys haven't been watching my my pokemon unite videos when i'm playing jungle i like to hit up both these core fishes 
and then head straight to that top lane. Who did get a kill? Was that top lane or no? Ooh. I think uh, ooh, one kill in the bottom lane and one death in the top lane. So I am definitely gonna head to this uh, head to this top lane here because after I get the scorefish, the boy is now a frogadier baby with double team ready to roll out here. What I like to do is kind of just like camp in this bush and see if I can if I can steal somebody here. If I can steal somebody. Another EV over here. Who was almost level four? Which can almost be Sylveon. Get up on you. Yo, can my teammates help me out here? My teammates help me out here. We got an easy kill. There you go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking, Johnny. There's a kill. Double team up here. And just start taking these bees, man. Oh, there's a score bunny up here. Didn't even realize he was here. But Snorox is going to push him back a little bit. And we should be able to get, like, a kill on these bees. There we go. And now I'm going to dip out of here. Now I'm going to dip out of here. If I can do this. Yeah, I might need to help out my squad here. They are doing a little bit of damage to us, but I, I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. Snorox can defend on his own. I need to go get my levels up. I need to go do that stuff. And I'm out of here. I'm going to that central lane. Yo, Sylgon. Oh my lord, yo. Why do people do this? Why do people do this? They go right into my central lane and they take all my enemies. Like, I'm going to head back there and I'm going to get them. Just chill on me, Sylgon. This is mine. This is mine. So what I like to do is get these things in a little bit and then be able to be a Greninja. Which is not going to work out here. God dang it, Sylveon, man. I really want that Ludicolo. But I'm going to head to the spot lane now. We were able to snag a kill there. Or at least uh, force a kill. I think I got an assist for a kill. Not too sure. I'm going to roll into the spot lane. And actually, I want to get these core fish first. I would actually love to get these core fish first. Because getting these core fish would allow me to become Grand Ninja. Because then I can just dominate. And here comes... Uh, can I get that? Oh, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. Let's see if I can roll down here maybe say KO. Come here. Can I go here? Can I get some help here? There's a kill for me. We do have Grand Ninja ready to rock here. And we should be able to get a KO here. Get the thing out of here. Beautiful. And can I score these 30 points? I can score these 30 points. We're sitting pretty. You know what? I'm going to do these guys dirty, and I'm going to take their berries. Say, hey, yo, you guys are not allowed to have these berries. <laughs> Snag up on their berries, and Dreadnought is spawning, so I'm ready to rock here. Actually, uh, go after this curly here. I have my double team here. Do I can get up there. And I wish I had my, what's it called? Can we kill him? Should be able to get it. There it is. Beautiful. Head to this bottom lane. Let the team know. Ooh, an orange berry here. Let's, get, let's rip up on that, and where's this thing at? Kill this thing. Get it out of my game. There's a double piece for jeans, and we are rolling strong in this new season. I was going to say Siri. That's Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm so used to playing uh, Series 11, which I'm absolutely loving. If you guys are enjoying the content for that, thank you guys so much. But we are buzzing. I am actually going to head back to base. Just for sheer fact is there's a bunch of jungle enemies, and I really want those levels. And I'm playing to win, so I'm not playing for kills. I'm playing to get XP, and I'm playing to roll out here, trying to get my, my rank up. Let's take out this poof lane here, and then I'll head to that top lane. Then I will head to that top lane. I'm going to let the squad know. I'm going to let the squad know that Gene's coming to that top lane. I'm coming. Yo, Lauren back here. You Lauren back here. I got him in the bag. And my double team. They're pushing her up on our tower here. Double team out here. Still my ult here, which I am going to pop. And try to push these guys. If I can actually get this Curlia. Put some damage on you. Should be able to get rid of that, right? Oh my god, yo. This guy just murked me. This Cinerace just murked me, dude. Cinerace is so strong, man. He's so strong. But our team's looking pretty good. We have a decent amount of levels on these guys. Our Venusaur just picked up a nice double kill. And I think we should be thriving with this battle. Just got to keep playing slow. Just got to keep, keep playing for levels. And we should be able to just roll out here and end up grabbing ourselves a win in our first battle for the new season. Which is just lovely. Which is just lovely. Let me head down here and just start soaking up these wild enemies. I feel like uh, some bees should spawn or some core fish. Should spawn very, very soon. I'm just going to keep getting my levels up and roll from there. They should get all those Aldinos over there. And I'm just keep looking at the map. Trying to get stuff and things. There is uh, our Venusaur right there. And there goes our jungle enemy, so I am going to head back in there. Keep taking out this thing. There we go. I'm going to roll here. And I'm going to say, everybody, to the bottom lane. Because we got to get this Shrenal. This Shrenal can be really big. So I might just take out this blue plant and head over there. Actually, I have time to get them both. I do have time to get them both. Actually, they're doing that. They're doing that, which is rather annoying. And of course, of course, I missed the last hit on that thing. And they take my wild enemies, yo. Like, why are people always just grinding up on my... Uh, Oh my, what's it called? Oh, we can get some nice kills here. Look at, it. Look at these kills here. He missed me with that, but I can do that. Mmm, want the eject button out. But it's all good. It's all good. I should be a higher level. They should pick up the KO on this guard board pretty easily here. And they should be able to just snag Dreadnought just by cleaning it up. They do have Cinderace over there scoring points, and Sylveon's getting after it. He's getting after it. I'm going to head to this top lane. I think they can get, get Dreadnought on their own, so in that case, I'm going to head to that top, and we're going to roll from there. Actually, they might not. They're on him. They did get it. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope. And I'm already on my way over to this Rotom. And our Snorlax is on the Snorlax is teeing off on it. Gotta get rid of you. Can I get that? This Gardevoir's been eating me up. 
I might have to check button back here, which I am going to do. Play position here. The Snorax. Get out of my face here. Oh, we almost have him. Someone kill him. Someone kill that Snorax. Hop on him. I'm going to try to take this Shred on the, or the real time in the meantime. So I can get that. Did I get that? I did not. He really just stole that. I have the all here. Can I ult? Yo, I'm mashing my ult. What you mean? What you mean? Bro, I'm sitting there mashing my ult. I'm mashing my ult. You guys saw the little ring on the screen pop three times because I clicked it three times. And it did not come out. Get out of my face. That's all good. It's all good. I still feel like we're thriving this battle. I do need to get my levels up. I do need to get my levels up. So let me start taking out these wild enemies. Get rid of you. Go here. And I'm going to head to this top lane and see if I can snag some KOs. Push these guys back a little bit. I dip out here with my double team. There we go. There's a nice little double team. Am I really going to die again? Hopefully not. Nope, we got a kill. Awesome. Dope, dope, dope. Take out you. Get my HP back by sitting on this tower and throwing my water shrikens out here. Look at that. Look at my look at my levels just go right up. Just go right up. Coming to that bot lane. I'm coming, baby. Gene's coming. Gene's coming. Should be able to get level 13 by going here and taking on the spoof lane. Keep the team off on that. Come one more time with this water shrikens and beautiful. Oh, so close to level 13. But time should do the job. Time should do the job. Let's collect these Pokeballs. We got double team plus. And Drenol, we have enough time to kill Drenol once again. I'm gonna call the team to that bot lane. I might hide in this bush, see if I can snag KO. They are running up on me. Ooh, that's a little scary. If I can just KO you. Should be able to, yep. Okay, so there's you're gone. He's going for points over here. Let's see if I can actually stop him from scoring. Got him, okay. Stop him from scoring. That's that's perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Call the team to that bot lane and let's get going here. Here comes Drenol. Well not Drenol. Here comes Garchomp, which I might just alt on. If I can, can I use my double team here? I'm going to have to ult on these guys. Where's my team at, man? I get rid of you. There's one kill. Sylveon actually got that. That's fine. Take that all day. Let's take out this Corphish. Just get HP. And push up towards you guys right here. Are they attacking Dreadnought? They are indeed. I'm going to go for this last hit on this Dreadnought. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Let's launch it. Oh, they really got that? Get out of my face. Can we at least pick up the KO on them? There it is. Okay, big KO. Let's hit that central lane. Tell my team. Let's roll. It did get that last second Dreadnought, and we might just be able to melt this. Let's see how this one plays out. Where are these guys at? Where are these chumps at? Come here. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead, yo. They just double ulted on me. No way we're going to lose this battle. No way we're going to lose this battle. Come on, boys. What's my squad doing? You guys have ults? And you guys have ults? Sylveon's ulting. That's beautiful. They all have ults, yo. We're going to lose this fight. We're losing this fight right here, and they are easily going to get that. Unless we can get a KO there. Actually, these guys are rolling. That's doing pretty good, but this Sin Race is definitely going to take it. Can you guys hop and get that? Can you guys get that Zapdos? Mm, what you mean? That's rough. That's rough news. So they're going to get that. We're going to go try to score here. I'm definitely going to go try to score. He does. He's level 15. That's real whack. I have to dip around. I have to go for points. We have to go for points. Snorax is trying to score 100. Which I might just defend. With that 100, we could potentially win this game. I don't know. I would like to see the score. I'm going to defend a little bit. Did they score? They scored 100. This one's going to be close. We have the lead. So let's just play defense here. Let's just play defense. We have the lead here. We lost Zapdo, so defense is key here. Let's double team. Make a, make a bunch of copies of me. He is going to ult here. I do have my eject button if needed. So I might just eject through this wall here. And here's, here comes my team, which is great. They're pushing up here. Yo, Venusaur, hop over there. Venusaur, hop over there. There you go, Venusaur. There you go, Venusaur. You got all. ult. Send your ult. You definitely got all. ult. Oh, beautiful, Venusaur. Venusaur's teeing off. No! They're going to score. They're going to score. And we are going to lose. What a rough way. What a rough way to lose this game. What a rough way to lose this one. That's so tough. Actually, I, we're scoring. We're scoring some points. There's more points for us. I don't know, dude. This one's going to be close. This one's going to be close. I Wait for Scarchomp to come over here. I see you, Scarchomp. I'm going to ult on you. So you don't even get the chance to score. We ain't even going to let you. See if I can pick up this KO on them. I KO you? That would be nice. I get this. Now, did we win? First season. Or first battle of the new season. We did, yo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, yo. What a solid battle. It was really, like, edgy at the end because we lost that Zapdos. And they were scoring points and we didn't defend. But our players were able to get up there, like, the Snorlax and all that and score some points. Granted, I did not have that many points. Honestly, a lot of people played better than me. And I did really good, though. I was 6-11, and 11, but the Snorlax did really good. I think he scored a lot of points. 205, Venus were did great. Green it, and Sylveon got a lot of kills as well. But, yo, that's how we get the first battle for the rank season started. Let's hop into our second and look to go back-to-back -back for the new season. 
The real question here is who do I play for the second battle? We're coming off a strong victory with our main in the first battle, and I don't know who I want to go with. I was deciding between Pikachu, Cinderace, Grand Ninja, or Venusaur. I'm thinking Pikachu, yo. I have a blast with Pikachu. And the, yeah, I think we're going to rock Pikachu here. And I'm going to head to the uh, the top lane with this Venusaur with Pikachu. I absolutely love his Pokemon. We're going to be rocking the normal items that I usually rock with him, which is going to be the Buddy Barrier, the Wise Lens, and the Choice Spec. Not the Wise Lens, the uh, Wise Glasses. That's what they're called. So we're, we're really a special attack powerhouse here. And our team's looking really good. But yo, look at all these skins for Pikachu. Uh, which one should I use? I'm just going to go red on Pikachu. I'm just going to go regular Pikachu, yo. Regular Pikachu's adorable. Let's rock out with him. Let's get rolling here and look to grab ourselves a win in our second battle here. But not a bad first battle. Like I said, a few people did play better than me. And I thought we were going to lose because we weren't defending there. But it said the prompt come, came up. It was like, yo, we're in the lead. So when I see that, I'm just like, yo, all we got to do is defend. So if we have like two on each tower and one sitting in like the, uh, on the jump spring to jump on whatever side gets pushed, we could be thriving. But people were up there screwing, which actually worked out and benefited us in the end because we ended up winning. But our team's looking pretty good with Zoroar and Jungle. They do have a few solid Pokemon with the Lucario, the uh, Cinderace, and the Absol. So, gotta watch out for that. Definitely gotta watch out for that. But Pikachu is fun to play, man. He's definitely not the best, but he's super, super fun to play. And I think I'm gonna rock the uh, the Thunder and Bolt tackle combo. I really do like using that over the E Ball. So, let's go here. Because we are playing ranked. Oh, I got, I got, oh no, I got Thundershock right off the rip, which is good. But we are playing ranked, so I like to actually use Thunder when I'm playing ranked. Because what Thunder allows me to do is actually get last hit on wild enemies, such as Rotom, Dreadnought, Zapdos, and even just like wild enemies like Apom and all that good stuff. So it's really, really nice to have. It is really, really nice to have. So I'm going to take hit up on this thing and take out that. Oh, they got the kill, or did our Venus forget it? Our Venus might have got that. I'm not too sure. Oh, I'm not too sure. They might have just last minute uh, did that. But as a reward, it looks like he's standing still. Nope, he's not. Okay, cool. I'm going to take this core fish. I would like to get an extra level just to benefit us. He is rather playing really slow. He's kind of just standing there. I don't know what he's doing. I'll take jungle if that's the case. There's level 4 for me. I am going to rock thunder already. And thunder is super good, especially up against these bees. But let me see if I can just drop a thunder under here. <laughs> I love doing that. I love doing that. They know I'm in this bush here. Get back. Get back, yo. I'm telling you, yo. Get back. And when they push up, I might just, uh, hmm. I do. We could score 12 points. There's a nice little thunder damage there. I'm gonna start teeing off on these bees here. Use that. Teen off on these things and crack my thunder through there. Get some XP, all that good stuff. We doing good. We chilling here. Go with my jack button ready to roll. Let me drop this thunder on this thing. Oh, I missed my thunder. I meant to use it on the core fish, but I'm gonna go back here, get some HP. That's why I definitely need to do it. You gotta play very far back with Pikachu. Especially with this uh, item set on him. With this item set. Oh, did he not get that? Uh, did he not get that wild enemy? Or did it just respawn? Did you not get this? Son of a biscuit. You just did not get that. What are you doing? I'll take it. I'll take it all day. Or it might have just respawned. I don't know. I oh, know. He's coming back for it. It might have respawned. That one's on me. I'll take this Corphish, though. I need this Corphish to get my next level. Hello, Venusaur. I'm coming. The off on you. I do have my jack bump, but I'm just a glass can here. I'm very low on HP. Do not really get a lot of HP here. Let's see if I can actually send that. Send that. And there's KO for me. Beautiful, beautiful. Can I get under here? I'm under here. Let's see if I can push up on him. I am going to jack button here. Let's see if I can e-web him. Can I get that e-web? Can I get that e-web? Look how close it is. Come on. <laughs> Did not let me get the e-web. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, dude. It was so close. Any core fishes lurking down here? There is one, which I really want. Take you out, and then I'm gonna go take out this middle one. Try to get level six, dude. Yo, that e web was so close, man. We do get bolt tackle, which I really do like. Bolt tackle up here. Can I bolt tackle? There it is. Bolt tackle works as like a little stun. The beast did spawn. But I, I need some HP first and foremost. You missed my thunders, man. That'd be better. That'd be better. I can actually do this. Then dip back and just drop the thunder onto the bees. Onto the bees. You know, where's my team at? I'm gonna actually grab the citrus right here. So I can be thriving here. So I can drop this thunder over here. Hit that. And we are doing some damage over here. Let's see if I can actually charge up on you. There's kill. Beautiful. And I am going to go to sleep here. But I should be able to bring it back here. Yep. Back, get back under there. And steal damage on that thing. So working wonders. Doing good here. I am just going to chill in this top lane. Considering our whole squad's over there. I'd rather just defend this lane and kind of just get up on the XP. And I wonder where Wigglytuff's at. Oh, there's uh, there's Absol. Absol is here. Definitely a scary little mod. I see you, Absol. 
I have to eject button out of here. I do. Stun you here. Just big KO. Giving us a shield. I really like. This thing has a... Uh, this thing has the... What's it called? Using the score shield. Can I have this? Can I get that KO there? I got it. Yes, sir. Yo, taking out an Absol. I got to get out of here. And nobody else there, up there to help me out. But it's all good. We were able to get Drenol. And I was able to defend and kill that Absol and stop him from just being an absolute beast. Because Absol is their strongest Pokemon right now. So being able to take him out makes him not being super, super strong. So that really does help us out. We're thriving here. I think we're doing just fine. That Drenol kill. I, I haven't scored any points, but I'm kind of just here been defending. Playing decently well. Let's just take out this. Drop this Thunder onto this Audino. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Use this. And let's keep getting my levels up. Get my levels up. But yeah, oh, what I hit? Oh, there's a core fish over there. He used it on the core fish for some reason. <laughs> I do want my alt right to go. I think we're fine here. Drop this on Aldino. And this thing's dead. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll, baby. Take out you. And I am going to slide down here and grab this other core fish right here. Just grab this other core fish allows me to get level 10. And I'm going to head to this top lane. Back here. Our first turn, there we go. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming, Cinderies. Oh, let me ult here. If I can get this KO on the Cinderies here. I get this KO on the Cinderies here. There's this. Use that. And now we're dealing some big old damage. I should be able to get up on him. Got my Thunder. There it is. Nice big double kill. Nice big double kill. We ripping up. I do need HP. I do need HP. So I might actually head back to base. Actually, let me head back to the bottom lane because Drenol is going to spawn. So I am going to head to this bottom lane. And I'm going to loop around this way just so I get some HP by going through the... Uh, our tower. Actually, I can take out you. Could be nice. Some more XP. Maybe get level 11. This should actually bring me to level 11, which could be great. I'm coming. Don't worry. I'll drop that on that. And this level 11, I get Thunder Plus Pikachu rolling out here. Oh, and there's a lovely little Citrus Berry. Just chilling there for me. I'm here, boys. I'm here. Don't worry. Don't worry. Jeans is here. Let's rip up on this thing. I see you. I see you, Lucario. Yeah, get back, Lucario. Let me stun you. They're pushing up on us. They're pushing up on us. Let me drop this on this treadmill here. I have nothing here. I'm going to die. I'm definitely going to... Ooh, I survived somehow. I get another thunder. I would love another thunder. And... Oh, no. We didn't get that. Yo, I thought we got that. I didn't think we'd get that. And, yo, what? Come on, man. We should have had that treadmill. We should have had that treadmill hands down. But, yo, we're playing great with Pikachu. I honestly think we're playing super, super well with Pikachu right now. I really do. But I'm going to head to that top lane. And I'm just going to roll for XP now. Because it is going to come down to Dreadnought. I'm going to save my uh, ult for when... Uh, not Dreadnought. It's going to come down to Zapdos. I think we are losing right now. But it's rather close. But, yo, no one's taking these wild enemies. Like, this is why we're probably losing. Like Wild enemies are key. Are so key. Especially in uh, in rank. Especially in rank. They're so key. They just give you all the XP. I worry more about these wild enemies than people pushing on my tower. So. Because getting that extra level and getting those, those extra boosts of XP is just enormous. It really is. It's just huge all around. There we go. Get that one. And we are sitting at level 12. I would like to be level 13 by the time we, uh, by the time Zapdos spawns. Because that can really put us in a good position. And I'm just going to save my ult for that because you guys know ults are just enormous when it comes to, uh, Zapdos fights. But get all this. It's a close battle. We are losing by a little bit, but like I said, it's so close that it's legit just going to come down to Zapdos. So let's roll. Onward, people. There's, uh, there are people going over here. I might just send this over there. I steal some KOs. Try to steal some XP there, which is great, dandy. I hop back into this middle lane here. And just take out this core fish here. There is actually this guy right here. I'll be able to take that. And I'm just gonna dip back a little bit. Venusaur is here. Venusaur, I'm gonna need you here. Wasted my eject button too. Wasted my eject button in the last ditch effort. Venusaur, can you get that kill? That would be lovely. You got teed off on! What do you mean? Alright. So we're 5-0, but there's two minutes left. Uh, let me see levels. 11, 10, 12, 12, 12. They are a little bit on the level board. They're like half and half with us. But let's roll. Let's, let's get it here. Take out this Bufalant. Taking out this Bufalant here. Let's rip it. I just want this Bufalant, and then I'm, then I'm going to roll right to that central lane. Alright, let's go, boys. Head to the central lane. Head to the central lane, baby. We're sitting here. I'm up in my chair. We ready to rip. I'm going to take out this thing. Use my abilities. Let them recharge. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that Zapdos. All right, so we're here. We're ready to roll. I have all ready to rock. Can't be afraid to use it. Up that on them. Use this, and now pop my ult. Pop in the ult, baby. Did I get a kill there? I think I did. Awesome. Awesome. Let's see off on the Zapdos. Let's get out of here. 
Get it out of here. Teal phone zap this. Teal phone zap this. I'm low on HP, so I can't really do much here. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Here's Thunder on that. Let's roll. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's go score some points. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So my ult came in clutch. Did I get that kill on that? I did. And I got two assists in the meantime. That is dope. That is dandy. Venusaur is moving. He is moving. I need your defense, Venusaur. I need you to come over here with me. I do have an eject button, so I can just eject button into the goal, which I'm probably going to do. Like this. And try to get my points. Did I score? I did score. Cool, cool, cool. I was able to score. Other team surrenders. Awesome way to finish off this battle. Awesome way to finish off this match. Making the other team surrender. And we played that one super well. It was actually really close for a good amount of time. But we played Zapdos really, really well. Once they started pushing in, we kind of just set up a team fight. Used our ults at the perfect time. Took them out. And then just murked Zapdos with all five of our teammates. But there it is. 7-2 with a top lane Pikachu. Gotta love it. That's a solid battle. That is a solid battle. But hey, 2-0 to get this new rank season started. That's how it's done. Off to a strong start for the brand new season. Grabbed ourselves a win with Greninja and then grabbed ourselves an even better win with the Pikachu in that top lane. But season two is going to be, I don't know how it's going to be. Hopefully they add stuff very, very soon. Hopefully we get to see some new Pokemon and definitely need a nerf and buff uh, balance change patch. Would be awesome. Definitely need to add a lot more because like I said, new season definitely under underwhelming. They just added a battle pass, no new events and just reset the season. They were just like new battle pass, new season. Here you guys go. Here it is. And we're just like, what? Shouldn't there be more? Shouldn't there be more? So hopefully down the road, they'll add some new Pokemon and some new stuff towards this new season. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.